What's going on, buddy? My name is Tuck. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are staying happy and hydrated. Welcome back to episode 10 of Far Cry 6. If you guys are excited that we're into double digits on this playthrough, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. Go ahead and leave that like button if you're ready for more daily content here on the channel. Also, if you guys are interested in other FPSs, mainly multiplayer games, click the top right corner. That's going to be a link to my last Call of Duty Vanguard video. I have beta gameplay saved up from the beta a few weeks ago. I'm periodically posting those until the full release of the game sometime next month. So if you guys want to stick along for that game, Game as well that would be great because it's going to be taking up some of the content slots here on the channel without wasting too much more time we're going to be picking up right where we left off at the end of last episode which if you missed that one go watch that one because a lot of stuff happened in that episode and whether it be good or bad it advanced the plot i cannot deny that it definitely advanced the plot but some of the stuff that got us to where the plot advanced um it's a bit of a head scratcher but i will let you guys decide that for yourself but like i said not trying to waste too much time let's hop right into far cry 6 Okay, real quick, because I've had to go through so many hoops to even get to this point. Because after I recorded the intro you guys just saw, probably, I had to update my drivers. And whenever I updated my drivers, this game had an update. So whenever I updated this game and launched this game, whenever I opened this game, it was maxed out on all my settings, which made my recording software crash. And then in order to fix that, I lowered my settings. But I think because I didn't restart my PC after I had to update my drivers and this game, the game was just not having a fun time and there were a bunch of graphical glitches. So after a PC restart, a PC update, the updates to the game and the the drivers were at this point i need to check the settings real quick and then once we check the settings we will go do the mission i've selected because the thing that's in the top left corner i already talked to alejandro about but it's in a recording that doesn't exist because my software crashed and when my software crashes it deletes that part of the video so that was the todr of the past 45 minutes of my life so we're going to check the settings real quick and then we'll hop into the mission okay cool my settings are fine they didn't they didn't go back to ultra so anyway that was that was that was rough yeah, dude, that was, that was super tough. Between how the end of the last episode went with having to replay that part of the mission like seven times, and then how this mission has just been going so far, and mission this episode has been going so far, and how my PC's been handling the game. Um, yeah, not ideal. Clara, we walked right into a trap. Carlos is dead, and the brother Alejandro isn't doing much better. Danny, you can't let that family fall apart. We don't just need the Monteros to take down Jose. We need them to take Esperanza and put his uncle Anton in the ground. See, Clara. I'll find a way. I mean, she talks to me like I intended for that to happen. And also, to be completely fair, I think Carlos was trying to take himself out because he could have easily not done what he did, and he would probably still be alive. But that's neither here nor there. That's just how the game operates. I don't want to go on the ladder, but whatever. I'll go down here and get this thing. These ladders have giant hitboxes. Okay. Enough scrap. What is that? Collect USB stick? Oh, it's a music thing. Um... Many of you have lost your friends to their senseless, violent actions. Do you think they care? No. They take pleasure in our pain and suffering. And they want to leave you and every other true Yaram without a future, without hope. Despite what the terroristas say, you do have a choice. You can have paradise and you can have it today. So please, All right, you guys are safe. And report any suspicious behavior to your local protectores de la patria. Michelle. Anyway, let's go back in the old church. I actually might have to change some of my settings again because this doesn't look like how I remember the game looking, but maybe I'm dumb. I cannot see you. Dios ayúdanos. Are you Father Pietro? Si. Sí. Alejandro said you'd come. You know, I remember the day I married Carlos to his wife. So long ago. I'm sorry. The machete is gone. What? What happened? Soldados. They'll be at their favorite bar nearby. Like La Raja. that one over there? I'll mark it on your map. Gracias, Padre. And I'm sorry about the mess. <sighs> not that one over there? Wait. No, it is that. Well, no, it's not that one over there. It's in the same direction, but it's not the, uh, the place I had just seen. Save our country. With Castillo. 
Are you guys okay? There, take that. I don't know what that does. Take it. Curse this game for giving scrap a purpose. How dare it take the far the Fallout 4 route and make things actually looting important? Because now I'm gonna loot more than I play the actual game. You know what? Let's take a detour. I'm gonna go take out this anti-aircraft thing, and then we're gonna truck along over here. So I guess I'm just gonna go here because I haven't been here yet. Alejandro, how you doing? Fine, I suppose. You got the machete? Not yet. He wasn't at the church. Cojones. Where could it be then? Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it, mi herma. Danny. What's up? Just wanted to say, I know it might be difficult to trust me. Lots of new faces around the camp these days. Oh. No it's thanks. Okay. Well, not everyone can forgive like you have. Forgiveness isn't mine to give, Ale. You'll do your best. That's all I can expect of anyone. So... I can't really tell what's going on, so I'm going to have to ask you guys to uh, give me some Might feedback in the comments down below down. if the game is skipping in the recording. Because the game on my screen never skipped even on Ultra, but the recording software always did skip. So, um, I need you guys to let me know what the frame rate looks good, because I might have to goof around with some settings. I don't think I'm dropping frames in the recording, but you know, like I said, I can't really tell at all times. So if there's any skipping, let me know in the comments. If it looks good, then we're chilling. It's right below me? Yes, it is. Now I'm gonna get super close to this stupid thing because this, my ultimate ability like hardly ever works whenever I'm like more than six feet away. So I would like to destroy that. <laughs> Do not kill civilians. Well, here's the thing. I was aiming at this. Oh, well, we can try again later, because it doesn't seem like it's going to let me do it. There has to be an easier way to destroy these things. Like, do I have anything in my inventory? I have a perception grenade, I have a baseball, and I have molotovs. Why did the enemies at this prison reset? Okay. Do I want to know why that just happened? This guy just wrecked his own fucking homies. Nah, you don't see shit. What the fuck is the point of what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I, I just- I don't. That guy just doesn't give a fuck. I was already here. Why did the enemies respawn here? <coughs> I'm just gonna leave. Alright. Third time's a charm. Now that that thing is gone, I can actually move on with my life and probably never come back to this part of the world. However, I really would appreciate if the enemies would stop respawning in places that I've already cleared for quests. That'd be pretty dope. Sorry it had to go that way, bro. I actually am, but I'm not trying to do that. If you're just going to attack me, I'm not trying to do anything like that. What do you got going on? You're in the middle of nowhere. There you are. What the fuck? I'm going to, well, I'm going to keep it honest, lady. Molotoving the horse probably was overkill. And you aren't going to talk to me because you're scared of the fire that you caused because you threw a Molotov at a horse. What do you got for me? Please. You gotta help my friend Chica Nunez. You're the only one who can get her out of the terrible situation. Uh, I'll, I'll yes. consider it. I don't know why I'm saying thank you for that. This entire episode is wonky. 
All right, I changed some settings. The game should look a little bit better now. I think That's I lowered my difficult. settings a bit too much. I think we should be fine in recording though, but I changed, I did change some settings just now. We'll see how it goes. This is your favorite bar? Why is everyone's favorite thing in the middle of fucking nowhere in Far Cry? So why are there just random purses in the middle of nowhere? Okay, you're a civilian. Okay. Let us do this. A flamethrower. They're at their like they're at a bar. Why are they even trying to fight back? Officer. Greg will protect you. No, I'm chilling. I have a sniper. I'm just gonna let this rock. Oh pfft, what? Bro, this gun is ass. I can't even see him. I'm terrified. He's gonna shoot a rocket at me. Okay, I think we should be okay now. Or I can get blown the fuck up by a truck that was on fire. That works too. That wildfire is just gonna spread. It can... It can do that. What is that? MP7. SMG Isimo. I might swap to that, or at least consider doing it, because I have it upgraded over my uh, Groza. Or it might be an upgrade over my Groza, rather. A bunch of shit just lying around out here. There's a blue arrow pointing into that cave, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Let's take you home. Carlos's machete. Alejandro, I got it. Ay, fuck. Thank God. Your papa's machete belongs with the Montero. And that's where it's going to stay. Gracias, Danny, for doing what I couldn't. See you soon. What the fuck is going on over here? Hold up, gotta reload, gamers. Oh. Hmm. Is that it? There's a helicopter. Shit! Air support! Nope, oh, snipe the pilot later, gamer. Epic. Oh, it's a supply drop. No thanks, dude. I don't know what's happening. This entire episode has been weird. You're not an enemy. Quit riding horses through a war zone. There are wild dogs. There's this guy. That guy has rockets. I'd really like for him to not have rockets. He was like hiding behind cover taunting me. Alright, are we Gucci now? That's what I'm saying, bro. There's a lot of stupid stuff happening right now, but there's a supply drop. So let's go get this thing, go back to base. Hopefully not get attacked by cougars or whatever these animals are. How sick is that? What did we get? One gunpowder. Supremo bond. And... A lot of, like, ammo that I needed. Alright, let's fast travel back to a uh, base. What is that? Cannot fast travel to an active mission location. That's kind of cringe. Alright, let's airdrop in here that we'll fly over. Uh, 
All right, brother. Here's your uh, here's your machete. Defendiendo a su gente con su valor y sin dar ni un paso atrás. No llores porque Carlos Montero partió con ideas de libertad. Y aunque no esté con nosotros, siempre lo vamos a recordar. Su siembra. Just because we saved you doesn't mean we want you. Come on, this is his papa's funeral. Carlos for Alejandro? Shit trade. <clears throat> Who the fuck is Roberto? You've done enough. Go. Father, he's your brother. Yeah, not yours. How's the leg? I never knew your papa, but my family worked these lands for 50 years. I I have intel on General Jose. Let me give you his lieutenants. Por favor. You'll need new uniforms, compais. Actually, but who's Roberto? I don't remember Roberto, but he's being a cuck, and I don't really like that. Also, that is a very lazy way to get that machete to stand up, but I respect it. I'm Daddy, little... It's Clara. Whatever you're doing, drop it. Una nueva operación. A chance to slay the lion in his den. Come find me in Esperanza. I'm sending you a picture of the Libertad safe house there. When you get to the Garion lookout, ask about the night shift. The night shift? Okay, Clara. I'm on my way. Is that gonna force me to do that? Because before this episode ends, I want to do that mission right there with the cockfighting. Like, I don't know. That kind of contradicts everything we did, right? Because we kind of went through hell and back to go get Alejandro back for him to say no. And then whenever we actually get him back, he just kind of is thrown aside? I don't get it. Sorry, I got confused. I, I thought I was collecting chickens. No, steal Elvis's spurs back from Ramon. Dude, what? This is nowhere near here. How the hell did you manage this? Holy fuck, this isn't a part of the map I've never even considered going to. Can't fly here. Got to find another place to take off. No, I can do whatever the hell I want. These things respawn no matter what. I'm just gonna get up to elevation and we're gonna... I don't wanna. Yeah, but just like that, we're chilling. I'll see you guys whenever I hit the ground. And just like that, here we are. Ish. Something tells me this thing I'm going to is underground, though. It's in a bunker. This dude lives in a bunker? Body. Hey, Elvis. I found Ramon's hideout. And I found Ramon, too. Ah, see? That como mierda got my boy Spurs. No. I think he's dead. Well, shit. Gosono got what he deserved, then. But you still gotta find those Spurs. Gordito's little feet look so naked. Um, right. Naked feet, got it. What the fuck is this, like, an underground... Underground the spurs on one of his juiced up roosters. Chicken rings? Great. There's just raw chicken everywhere. Like, what are we doing with it? We cooking this shit? What the fuck is this place? It's like I took an express elevator to hell. I told you, that rat fuck son of a bitch Ramon is sick in the head. He's also he dead. Well over a goddamn percentage. You surprised? 
I gotta get out of here. If roosters start coming out of the walls, it's game over, man. Just don't leave without Gordito's spurs. This is, uh... This is definitely on the wild side. This is also kind of terrifying. Are we gonna have, like, a fucking rooster boss battle? Yep, I see him. There he is. Oh, no. Just stay cool. El Pollo Loco, of fucking course. Fucking roided up chicken is coming after me. He also has no hitbox. For you, Gordito. Okay. Can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, I I, I share that sentiment, honestly. More roosters, Daniel. What? Get the fuck out of here. Why are there more roosters? Say I won't ultimate them. Inga, fucking Gaios. Why is this happening? This is so fucking goofy. Uh, this place smells like shit. Did it not smell like shit on the way in? Bro, we are getting chased by roosters out of the fucking building. This is fucking crazy. Oh, yeah, bad time to run out of ammo, eh? I do have this pistol that sets shit on fire. Maybe this will be good for roosters. Get me out of here. Are you guys enemies? No, you're not. You guys are just chickens. You're an enemy, though. I don't know why this is a thing. I just, I don't. Elvis, it's Danny. That, that place. Blood, shit. Birds everywhere. I barely made it out of life. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But like, you got the spurs though, no? Yeah, I got them. And I'm fine, thanks. Gordito, you hear that? Yes. Danny, Papi's wiggling his little butt with happiness. Now come back here. A show. Uh, okay, cool. That's a new thing. Let me talk to this person, and then we'll, s we'll head back. Guerrero, come here. Brian, you keep walking away from There's me. There's a convoy running along the coast of Sirena Bay. We could really use those supplies right now, Danny. I'm sure. Appreciate it. You're also the same person that set the entire countryside on fire. Um, all right, let's fast travel back to home. Here's some oh, cockfighting. You came back. Dope. Man, I'm... Can I be real with you for a second? You did something really special right here. I'm gonna tell you a secret, okay? I throw most of my fights. I just can't stand the idea of Gordito getting hurt. Burns me up. These spurs. They make him happy. And that's all that matters. Now, <clears throat> you did us a favor. And I trust you. But if you say anything to anyone, I'll fuck you up. For sure. You have to protect, okay? What? What? Why is this camera doing this? I'm. Help? I'm stuck. Okay, now we're fine. I was in like first person, third person hey, for a second. Okay, you did real good finding Ramon, amigo. Hope that piece of shit rests in peace or whatever. The... Okay, puppy. Egg time. No broken ones or nothing, okay? Where do you want me to go? All the way back over there? Is this the same place I just came from? I didn't really expect to get caught up in cockfighting missions. Coño. I hear roosters. 
This must be the place. Please, no more roosters. Everything's on fire. No, nope, they came. They chose violence. No, thank you. No, bro, I didn't want to do this. Why am I getting attacked by everything? Okay, are, are we done? You're coming with me, Chicky. Is all I needed is one. The rest of these eggs. Is that a good idea? Smash the rest of the eggs? There's fucking 49 of them! I'm literally getting fucking murked by chickens. Bye bye, birdies. Fucking. Practicing aim labs of eggs, dude. Fucking cocks. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. This is, uh, quite annoying. Bro, fuck off. I'm so sick of birds. I'm fucking dead. I actually might get killed by cocks. I do have molotovs. Would molotovs, like, help? Fuck that shit. Gallos de mierda! Never did I ever think I would be fighting birds like this. Okay, Molotovs do help. They speed up the process a little bit. Okay, that is all of them. Get me the hell out of here. Hey, Elvis. Got your egg here. Safe and sound. Your friend. Different story. Oh, for real? Coño. He was a good guy. You sound heartbroken. What's the deal with this egg, Elvis? Everybody in Yara's got a side hustle. Book fighting's expensive. No worry, okay? Just get back here. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to worry because you're doing all this extra shit. I genuinely was not expecting to be fighting cocks with my pistol that sets oh, things yeah, on daddy. fires. On fire. Wonder if their birds are any good. Que hola. Yo, Think for you know real? What it takes? Fuck yes, papi. Fuck yes. So listen, you did the right thing. We're gonna give our friend a nice funeral. And this egg is gonna go where it needs to go. And those nasty-ass birds are still out there. So you know, watch yourself, huh? You're the realest, puppy. No one cigarros again. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It took a lot to even get to this point to record it. And once we started it, it got even crazier, which I did not think was possible. The last hour for me has been absolute insanity on every front. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Please leave a comment down below telling me what you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.